How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you the uh, Toshiba 14 inch USB mobile LCD monitor. This is going to be an unboxing slash review. This product is amazing. I literally picked it up thinking, hey, how cool could this thing be? And it is amazing. Let me take it out and let me show it to you. Okay. And I think it actually goes this way. Alright, so, what's so amazing about it, you probably ask? Well, this, in my, well, there may be others out there, but as far as I know, this is the first portable monitor I've ever seen, where what you can do, you can plug this up, so let me kind of walk you through the instructions here, because it's, it's so simple, like, anybody can set this darn thing up. So let's show you what it comes with first. So let me hold off on this until we get to the other stuff. So, first of all, it comes with a disc, Quick installation, works on Windows 8, Windows 7, XP, and Windows Vista. And so, take it out of the box. Sorry, it was all the energy at the beginning, and then I'm like, and slow down. Yeah. I want to show it to you first, and then tell you how amazing it is. So, bam. This is a portable LCD monitor. Okay. Now, you're probably saying, okay, why would I need a portable LCD monitor? Great question. First of all, there's a Velcro strip, Velcro strip on the back of the monitor right here. And that strip will go, you line it up even. Let's line it up. And now it's velcroed. And this is it. Just let me pull back so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so that's very dark. I'm sorry. The angle doesn't let you see the lighting too well. But what it is, is it's a portable monitor that doesn't require power. How is it powered then? Two USB plugs that plug into your computer. This end plugs into the side. Okay, plugs in the side. And I'm actually gonna plug it into my laptop, which is right next to it, so you can see it work, okay? Installation was super easy. It comes with a a disc, plug it in, walk you through it. If you do have a Windows 8 computer, it is compatible. It will give you an option to search for an update, and once you do the update, uh, it will include the firmware that you need that um, make it work with uh, Windows 8. So just keep that in mind. Um, and that was my first big question is, hey, is this compatible with Windows 8? Yes, it is compatible with Windows 8, okay? So right now my computer is booting up. And um, you, again, all you need is a computer that has two USB ports. You plug in those two, and after that, bam. Okay, I'm gonna bring my tripod down here because I feel like the angle is a little weird. I want to look. All right, so there we go. So let me bring my computer over a little bit, and now you can see. There it is. Okay. So, I can actually take and take this window right here, and I can drag it. Come on, I normally work with a mouse. So I can drag it over two screens, or just put it all on the new screen. Okay. Just a little closer there. So literally, it's a. Um, you now have an extended monitor. Now, okay, let me go over a couple of things here. So, if we hit, let's see, hit the Windows button and P, it will bring up your options of how you can uh, control that monitor, okay? So, for instance, right now you have the option um, to extend. So, right now we're actually extending the desktop, but what you can also do is do a duplicate. Maybe you just want to see 
that same monitor on both screens okay and so it will do that so we zoom out and now we're seeing the same thing on both screens okay so or we can do second screen only and then it'll cut off the laptop screen and just show on the uh, Toshiba 14 inch monitor so let me check I can um, kinda go over a couple different options where this will work well for me it works good because I'm an editor so I, I edit a lot of videos I'm doing a lot of graphics and so you can have one program open on one side and you can have something totally different on the other um, also great for doing research you know you can have your paper on one side and you can have the websites open on the other side that you're using to you know look up things so um, as far as I've used it it's worked really seamless I haven't had any problem with it freezing and literally uh, once you plug it in it just pops on automatically when you shut the computer off the monitor does go to sleep and uh, man I literally bought this on a whim because it just kind of looked cool I didn't have an intention on keeping it but um, it's literally become something like I gotta have now so let me kinda walk you through how to break it down and, and that's what makes it so cool I'm gonna unplug first and watch this sorry whenever it's black the screen does gets a little weird so you just pull the screen back on camera there we go so look pull the screen back there's some velcro at the bottom here that you pull up it lays flat and now it looks like a portfolio, just a regular portfolio case. And then with your cables, the way this works, um, in the back there's a hole for the cable to run through, right here. And so you run the cable through and there's a slot for it to sit. And this thing is, it's light it's very light so whenever my laptop I toss this right in my bag and when I stop I can set up shop and literally now I have a portable office wherever I am because I now have my second monitor to really be able to work the way I need to so um, I fully recommend this product I love this guy right here um, it's just so simple I mean I, I was just Amazed at how easy it was to set up. It's worked very smooth. I haven't had any problems with it um, You're gonna love it. Um, I think I paid 179 for it at Best Buy uh, Which is a very reasonable price for it um, This is some of the specs. It is an HD monitor it does have the protective leather case around it So it's sleek. It looks professional if you were to take it with you ultra portable one USB cable connection for power one for video and um, once you do the setup, you're done. You won't have to worry about having to do anything else. After that, you just plug it in and go, and you're done. All right. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I definitely recommend you pick one of these up because it will just enhance the experience. It doesn't take up uh, HDMI or VGA, and that's one thing I haven't tried yet. I haven't actually tried to plug in another monitor into the HDMI because I might be able to run two monitors on the same computer that is still to be seen because I haven't tried it yet but for at least for now you've got an easy portable monitor that you can use whenever you need to go somewhere and need to do a good amount of work and, and, and you would work better with multiple screens all right hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to H2 Tech videos and have a good one